When you've got a couple of banana peels in your deck, it takes a lot of focus not to trip up. Somebody else asks, have we considered resetting until getting clumsy from Niao? That's more or less what we're doing. Problem is you can't just reset and look at the Niao choices every time. You have to get to the Act 1 boss in order to get a curse from Niao in the first place. Or a cursed key. So we're going to be resetting until... Uh, usually resetting after beating Act 1, for that reason. And yes, I'm Brandon. Thanks for 33 months of a sub-portage. So, we're going to want a lot of draw and scry. If we're going to do watcher things. With curses. Definitely do appreciate four energy on the watcher. Kind of a big deal. Kazrol 3000, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Patrick's Paradox. Difficult puzzle game, huh? Interesting. Have to look into that. We'll get back to that video in just a moment, but I wanted to let you know that our new merch line just dropped. Keep it cozy. Classic designs that you love, plus a few new ones. You can get yours now for 20% off with a code COZY at checkout. But this offer only lasts until the end of November, so check out the link in the description below to get yours now. Back to the action. I wanted an event. Dang it. Dang it. Big Gek, thanks for the four months of the Prime Sub. I think we've had one or two chances to master Clumsy so far that haven't worked out for one reason or another. Hopefully this time's different. Mm, yeah. Easiest character to beat the heart with? Probably Ironclad. Ironclad scales up in damage well enough and power well enough to reach the lofty heights required by the heart sometimes. See, if I go Eruption into Defend, Crush Joint, Strike, Strike, how much is that going to be? 16 goes to 12, 18 goes to 13, I think that's a kill. Yeah, 12, 13, 13. Pick an empty body. Yeah, Golden Kappa Train, I'm not sure what that's about. But I'll take it. I meant to use the potion here. Still can, yeah? Oof. Miserable. A truly miserable draw. Baby Carrots, thanks for the 19 months. Bab Karns is a sucker for a good cause. <laughs> and I'm taking a bowling bash. Quite happily. With four energy, I almost don't want to upgrade Eruption first. I think it should maybe be uh, Crush Joints or Bowling Bash. 
Let's do crush joints. Clam Bandit with the 10 months. Thanks for the prime sub. Heck yeah. We could do Eruption, Defend, Crush Joints. That's the best line here, surely. Surely. Hmm. Take 16, win the fight. Defends are not worth playing. We block 5. Gremlin Knob does 6 more damage. It's not. We get a pantograph, healing us at the sort of boss fights. Okay. And a wheel kick. There we go. Big damage. Big card draw. The real question, though, is what's the first curse? It's clumsy. Oh, yes, Twitch chat. It's clumsy. And a shuriken. Could this be it? I think that means I do want to... I do want to fight this Burning Elite, huh? I think so. Definitely. Hmm... Schwarzization, thanks for the gifted sub. Maniac in a mask, hyping out with 500 bits. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Well then. Okay, so we can kill next turn, maybe. I'm gonna risk it here. I wanna keep this potion. Nice. Get a white bee statue, that's good. One potion for every fight. Get the green key, and I'm gonna take a foresight here to enable us to scry away the stinky curses. As well as what other other whatever other cards we don't want. I guess at this point we do want to look at as many shops as possible to try to find the Dolly's mirror. So we'll go to two here. Oh man, but bag of preparation draws two more cards on turn one. That might be so good as to be a required purchase here. And then we just go not to the shop. To buy the mirror, we'll need about 170 gold. Uh, I think the most that a shop relic can cost is, yes, 173. This is the maximum. Pellets are pretty good too, actually, but I'm going to go with the, the bag. I'll do it. No need for third eye, though. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. So, as part of the Mastery Challenge here, the goal is to get two of the same card, and then win. Seems simple on its surface, but we have to separately do this for each and every card in the game. 
And so far, we've done it for all of the cards except one. Clumsy. So the goal is to get two Clumsies into the deck and then win. Hmm. I would almost take Prost right here. Almost. Yeah, I'm really happy with those extra turn one cards. Tropic Brew, huh? Interesting. Sure. How's it going, Bear Globlin? Welcome, welcome. I, too, am hoping for Clumsy here. Big time. Pretty good draw order so far. Happy with this. Less so here. Oh well. Choo-choo. Enjoy those golden kappas, Twitch chat. I actually think it's pretty funny that as the streamer, I get the all of the uh, hype train bonuses, even without contributing a dime. Nice. Every job needs a four man. That's true. That's true. GG. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. Lesson learned seems like a bit of a no-brainer here, allowing us to upgrade all of our cards without having to actually upgrade all of our cards. Duke Pot's pretty strong, too. And a Runic Pyramid with four energy, bag of preparation, you betcha. Okay, this is the best shot we're going to get for quite a while. So let's slow down a little bit, take our time here, and try to do our best. Things are indeed lining up in the way we want. We already have our green key too, that helps a ton. Our next priority is to actually get the second Clumsy. We can get it randomly from one of their two remaining chests, or we can get it by duplicating a card in the shop. So I think we want to prioritize lots of shops for the moment. 
Combats are pretty good because of the... I guess we can go here, too. Combats are pretty good because of the lesson learned, of course. Hmm. And the White Bee statue. Yes, that too. Very much that too. So we should probably use a potion each combat. Hmm. Not quite. So if I eruption, I have five energy left. We can do what with that? We can kill them both if I use the dupe pot. I'll take it. I'll happily take it. Blurry shuriken's not too bad, but I think we can do better. Skip it. Ah. Mental Fortress could be a big deal for a Watcher deck in general. <laughs> it's worth thinking about. There is a small chance we get another shop at a question mark room, which might be reason not to buy anything here. The Furks, thanks for the eight months of support. And Jay Sank, with six months, I'm too well coordinated to be clumsy. Fair enough. I do think Halt is quite good with a Runic Pyramid, that's true. And a dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Force of Thor. Why didn't the skeleton ask the zombie on a date? Didn't have the guts. No refund switch yet. We could consider a removal here. Removing one strike would be a pretty good idea. Ah. We could do that at the next shop. I'm gonna hold all the money. Ah. Doesn't feel like it's the right choice, but it's what I'm gonna do. We'll take a combat here. Because he had no body to go with. Haha! <laughs> Indeed. Let's just keep the strike. Perfect. Yeah, we need some AoE. Take the upgraded Consecrate here. I think we go this way now? Yeah. Deal. Give me a relic. What do you got? It's an Art of War. Very good with Runic Pyramid. And we can remove a card too. Gotta be careful here. If I do that, I have to fight the extra elite here. Otherwise, we won't have enough money at this shop. So let's do that. Let's remove a strike and fight an extra elite. I like it. Guess I'll just kill them. Don't have to overcomplicate it.
Good. We're not done yet. Oh, aren't you? Sure look done to me. I get a Damaru. Uh, one mantra per turn. Now I'll take a mantra card. Also consider a third eye. I think third eye with runic pyramid is pretty dang strong. Get jaxed, transform two cards. Or get a uh, turn one bonus here. I think with the upgrades happening, I'd rather transform two. Might have been nice to get another curse before this happened, but I think we're just fine. If only we had another curse, right? Wish we'd taken that shame. Now, let's just transform Strike Strike into Deus Ex Machina Wave of the Hand. Interesting. It's not necessarily better, actually. Perfection. Gurya, we can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times. Permanently increasing our strength and still allowing us to upgrade stuff via Lesson Learned. And an upgraded Talk to the Hand gives us block whenever we attack the foe. That's pretty good, too. Could consider Wish here to give us more money, but I think Talk to the Hand is better. We do get another curse from this chest. It's... Clumsy! Oh my goodness, Twitch chat, we have two Clumsies. Off the curse key is this, the final run of the Mastery Challenge. All we have to do is win, and we've got a pyramid, so we're off to a good start here. Potion Belt with White Bee Statue, also pretty good. So I'm thinking that our odds of success are substantial. However, we do have three exhausting curses in the deck. That is a substantial downside that we're going to have to be careful of. Let's go, Twitch chat. I'm gonna stay calm, try to continue to... We don't need the Dolly's Mirror anymore, that's pretty cool. To be able to get Clumsy Mastery without the mirror is uh, not what I expected for sure. Hmm. Not the turn one I want, but it's not terrible. Let's start with a wheel kick. Excellent. Green Barrett J donating 20 bucks. Is there a word for these? I'm going to call them super chats unless somebody gives me a better word. <laughs> thanks for the super chat. Uh, JGT, thanks for the prime sub in the eight months. Where were you when the last mastery occurred? Hype chat. I kind of like that, actually. Hype chat.
Ooh, I didn't get B-Bash. Rude. Not that much damage, though. Mostly all is well. Let's see, how much can I block for here? Incoming is 5-5, five, 4-3, five, I believe. I just have to block like 20. Yeah, that's fine. Are done yet. Now we've got five sight. Gherkin with the prime sub. Let's go and run two one two seven. If you transform a curse into another, isn't it almost always clumsy or another that doesn't really have an effect? No, it's it's completely random out of all the available curses. If you've been lucky that you transform them into non-harmful curses, good for you, but uh, our last transforms were into normality and, I think, decay. WTP with the Prime sub in the seven months. Camel Crushed with 26. Camel Crushed was here. Human Pie with the Prime sub in the two months. Miasma Plasma with 52. Paradox 428 gifting a sub. And Hans Kaizen joining the illustrious list. Of channel cuties, all hail Twitch chat, a new cutie alert. Let me get you added right now. And a dad joke for the crowd. What do you call mastering the last curse with an Spectacular watcher run. Clumsy Z. Nate Shots Cats, thanks for the tier one. Hold on. Let me. Hands Kaiser. Get on the list. Panchpult with a prime sub. Vodrag with 42 months. This could be it. Did I really get Maw Bank right before a shop? I sure did. Sure did. We need another rap entry soon. Very soon. Great snake plant fight. We get an entropic brew, allowing us to get four random potions. And there's the prostrate, which I am super taking because of Demaru. Redshift J, thanks for the 18 months of support. Do I even want to go to a fire? I don't think I do, right? At a fire, I can upgrade a card, but that's the same thing I can do at a fight. Except I can also get a... Oh, I can lift! That's right, I can lift. We have Gurya, we want to lift. Yeah, we definitely want to lift. That's why I marked that. Thank you. Chat doing some heavy lifting here for me. How about an omniscience? 
allowing us to duplicate any card in the draw pile. There's some serious shenaniganry we can do with that, even potentially, if we're very lucky, getting a double lesson learned. Can also remove a card. No need to save for the mirror anymore. We have the two clumsies we're looking for. Shame I can't quite afford calipers. That might be good here. Dark Shackles is also obscenely strong. Allowing us to subtract 9 from the enemy strength for one turn. That's probably a good idea. Let's go Omniscience Dark Shackles. Can't quite afford the card remove. And I'm okay with that. Oof. Well, I'm not in love with this turn 1, but what can you do? This might be our Ambrosia fight. Actually, Fear Pot Strike Bowling Bash should kill, all right? This only saves four health. I'm not going to use it. It's better on this turn. Okay, so we just Fear Pot, Bowling Bash, Lesson Learned, yeah? Cool. Alright, I don't think we're going to take any more damage, so let's just Dark Shackles now. Omni Wheel Kick. Now we want Omni a block card. Omni the Defend. Simple as that. There's no way out of Wrath, though. Slight concern. Not my problem anymore. Perfect. Also, you're dead. Good fight. Get the Eternal Feather, healing us at rest sites based on the deck size. Excellent. And either a Cut Through Fate or a Deva Form, which could be very powerful with the Pyramid. I think I want the Cut Through Fate. Since I prostrate for energy in the late game. Scotty doesn't know. Thanks for the Prime sub and the nine months of support. We're gonna lift. Is Omniscience Deva Form any good? Only if you have truly tremendous card draw. Like multiple rushdowns. Then it can be decent. This should be safe to eruption turn one. Guess we're not getting talk to the hand down on the bronze automaton, that's fine. Bash does tremendous damage to this enemy. It's actually a half decent dupe bot. U7KJ, thanks for the prime sub and the four months. Were both clumsies from the curse key? They sure were. Two for two on that. Uh, I did take both relics though, so we have to open one more chest, unfortunately. My bad. I think it was a really good relic or something. It must have been Potion Belt. Hmm, I could kill one immediately here. I think I'd rather just focus damage on the main guy, though. Let's not overcommit yet.
Not many good Omni targets at the moment. Gonna go divine on the turn that Bronze Automaton would use Hyperbeam. Alagonian with a very generous 10 gifted subs. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, everybody. Good to see you, Alagonian. Tremendous giftage in Twitch chat. Hmm. I think I'm gonna Omniscience Vigilance. She kills. And I'm divine next turn. GG. Get lots of money and the second omniscience. When you have one omniscience, the second one becomes really good immediately because now we can use one omniscience to target the other omniscience. And that allows us to duplicate two cards in the draw pile for the same price as the one omniscience. So we can, for example, do like double talk to the hand, double foresight, which is one heart fights for me. I'm divine every turn. Well, not yet, we're not. Oh, that's a super easy coffee dripper. We have healing from Pantograph, we have healing from Eternal Feather. However, what about Sacred Bark? Double the effectiveness of potions is kind of nuts. When you have four good potions, plus an Entropic Brew, plus a White Bee statue. That's actually a really good Sacred Bark. Not the dome. No, not the dome. Anything but the dome. I actually think double double potions is really good. The sacred bark won't affect the ambrosia. It's still a good enough potion, even without a, without a double effect. But the super strength duplication potion is game breaking here. Uh, as is doubling whatever comes out of Entropic Brew. Let's take the, the bark here. Normally I would I would be inclined to five energy, especially with the omnisciences, but I think the Art of War plus the Super Potions can make up for it. All right, we have to be a little cautious here. Looks like the maximum is two elites, so I guess that's what we'll do. Card removes are still good. There's a couple unupgraded cards left that we'd like to dunk. Otherwise, keep upgrading stuff via Lesson Learned, wherever possible. Yes, please. Probably means we don't want to take that many events, just a lot of combats. We do want to hit a rest site to lift at. Could be a little difficult. One shop is a good idea also. Let's see a couple ways to do this. Oh, that's right. We're also going to get a curse in the chest, so we'd like to go to this shop, then. In case this is really, really bad. A 
that's probably wise. Something like this, then. Yeah, we have to open the chest to get the blue key. I think a lot of combats is good. The more combats we take, the more cards we can add to the deck, and the more cards we can upgrade. Both of which are important. And under the right circumstances... We can do more than just that. So what's the correct line here? We go Omniscience, targeting Omniscience, targeting Defend, targeting Lesson Learn, and we get double upgrade. My only regret is that we didn't upgrade both Omnisciences at the same time. That would have been really cool. Weave is passable. need it yet. Speed pot for 10 decks is strong-ish. We got an artifact potion. It'd be really good. Hmm. I'm gonna skip this. Not sure it is better than Essence of Steel. Eight-plated armor is quite good. Normally, Essence of Steel is very weak, but the uh, the better version from Sacred Bark is quite different. Can't double lesson learned in this fight, though. we use the Essence of Steel here? Yeah. There we are. Add four miracles to your hand. Combat over an event? Probably, right? Need combats to get everything upgraded. More potions, more money. Tunk of Clumsy at the shop? Of course. Of course. Omni, Omni, talk to the hand, talk to the hand, foresight, foresight. Let's do it.
Power of Scry. Alright, now we'll take a speed potion. I think I can double lesson learned in this fight. Not with this turn one, anyway. Not with this turn one. I think this will be something like double foresight, double vigilance. Scry 8 at the start of each turn. Massively powerful to do this. Just massively powerful. Damage potion is kind of whatevs. Do I want to just lucky? Not really. Skip. We shall skip. We don't have to fight this elite either, for the record. Excellent. Omni Omni. Double talk to the hand. Double strike. Something basic. Guess we could double cut through fate, get some more important stuff in my hand, sure. Strength. Give me divinity. Max health. I like it. I like it. I see I owe the chat a dad joke.
Here's a terrible one. What kind of car does the Watcher drive? A Nissan learned. No refunds. Boo this man for his terrible humor. Absolutely demoralized. Fusha. Hmm. Omni Omni what? Double eruption, double bowling bash? Let's do it. Can't believe we've not found another wrath card that I wanted. Neat. Did that actually do what I wanted? Not sure. I guess we can just kill right now, huh? Skip one lesson. That's fine. I don't think I need a third prostrate. This is bad, too. Here goes. Oh, and Bowling Bash is in my hand, huh? Hmm. This hits five times. Twenty four per enemy in combat. Be good, so thanks for the very generous gifted subs. Can I go divine? We can double only one prost, right? No, I can't go divine. Not a thing. Ambrosia gets us there easily. Let's see what the skill potion has. Indignation can apply vulnerable. Okay, that's easy then. That gets us there. <laughs> oh my god. And there's the ancient potion. Okay. Should have kept that speed potion. Here's a real indignation, perhaps more importantly. Give me that. And of course, the boot. Next up, Nemesis. It has to be. Five, we can do that. Just full block this. Hm. I might want a tranquility. I think I probably do. Although I'd rather have a reusable calm source. Now let's hold off. I have a few more options. How many unupgraded cards remain? One, two, three, four. We got almost everything now. Cool. We have to open this chest. We have to take the blue key. There's a parasite inside. That's not too bad. That won't stop me from fighting this elite then, which is in fact the nemesis. Get booted, sir.
How dare you. There's an upgraded prostrate. There's also a duality. Whenever we play an attack, gain one temporary dexterity. Very strong, especially with the Ancient Potion. Energy Potion gives four energy. Worship gives five mantra. I think I'd rather take the Spirit Shield, though. Give me the block. Who needs a Speed Potion now? That's right. Not me. I think the Ambrosia is better than the Energy Potion. Can't double lesson learned if it's in my opening hand. Plain and simple, can't do that. I have three curses in my hand. body first, whatever. It's all good. Nice. Card draw has got to be good, especially with the decks we're going to have. Lift here, and recall here. Be really careful about this. Nice and slow through the ending. Another entropic brew is cute. Start with an artifact is cute. Although not that good with the duality. It's apparently only 75 gold for a card remove? What the heck? I've never removed a card. What happened to all my strikes then? Hello? Guess we removed the Parasite. Well, cost us three max out, but that's fine. So do I take the Clockwork Souvenir? I don't think I do. I think we're going to keep this money. Yeah, it's basically a smooth stone under most circumstances. Which is helpful, but not that helpful. Not good enough.
About time. Better than the tranquility we turned down earlier. We want a gambler's brew. I don't think I need it that much. Yeah, I gotta get the red key now. And we go into our first boss fight, which is the Time Eater. And we excellently drew omniscience on turn one. You'll love to see it. Looks like this will be a double lamental fortress situation. Um, because, uh, or foresight. Double mental fortress, double foresight. Because the talk to the hand won't stick around into phase two. So we want to set up the powers as best we can. So omni, omni. Foresight, Fortress. I'll take it. And then we'll take some damage. That's fine. We have Pantograph. So as long as we take less than 25 damage this fight, uh, all will be well. Finish the job right now, that's my question. Answer may surprise you. I don't think it's a yes. Thirty forty. Forty. Specifically, 39 plus 45 plus 45. That sounds like enough. GG. GG. Math Zombie, thanks for the two months of the tier one sub. Appreciate you keeping it cozy. Heck yeah. All right, Awakened One will be a little harder as we have more powers. Just have to kill the birds quickly, though. There's something like Spirit Shield, Prostrate, Foresight. Take a wee bit. Foresight's definitely worth it. Not sure about the other powers, but Foresight is 100% worth it. I guess we play talk here, huh? Or I could save the energy. Play the inner piece? Don't play the inner piece yet. Just save the energy. Good. Dark Shackles could be a big deal, too. So I can Omni stuff if I wish. Double Mental Fortress looks pretty good, especially with uh, Inner Peace Eruption in my hands. What else would I want to double? Double Consecrate does some damage, although I'd have to not Eruption first. Nervous Glitch with the four months of the Prime sub. Thanks for keeping me company. I 
a double wave of the hand, but then we're weak in, uh, we're, we're unable to apply weak in phase two, more accurately. Double prostrate makes me divine right now. That does sound nice. John PR, look at all those waffles. Yeah, double prostrate seems like a good idea. That will let me kill both birds immediately. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. Who even needs talk to the hand, am I right? This will be better next turn. Take five. The Eternal Feather will heal it anyway. Tis no biggie. Let's just get rid of the curses. This fight will be long enough. also maybe just reset the Awakened One's strength if we can kill with the Dark Shackles active. I think that'll be our goal. Awaken one comes back with zero strength, and we're divine this turn. Easy peasy. to set up or anything. GG then. We're on to Act 4 here, Twitch chat. We have a spectacularly good array of relics, a very good deck, and four excellent potions with Sacred Bark doubling their power. To thump, to thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room is this, the heart of the spire, the source of this evil. You prime your stick, deal in 23 12. Have I been here before? So we have full health and lots of money going into the final shop, enough to buy any relic we see. The source of all this clumsy. The source of all these banana peels. Will we get a third clumsy? That is the question. Upgrade inner peace. Remove lesson learned. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Choices, choices. Definitely a fan of boot thingy here. 267. We can afford boat thingy card remove. That looks very good. Time to remove a clumsy. <laughs> That's right. And then we forgot what the challenge was and decided to just throw it all away. 
Yeah, I think we removed the only unupgraded card in the deck that is lesson learned here. It is no longer useful. And purchase some block. Turn two block, good for both the spear and shield as well as the heart fight. And I think that's all we're going to need. These potions in this deck ought to be able to beat heart with most draw orders. Rushdown's an option. Rushdown is card draw. Maybe that's better than a card remove. I'm not sure about that. Definitely buying this. Two Wrath Entries. And a Mental Fortress. Yeah, let's buy this. Good dupe, too. Okay. So my plan is use the Ambrosia here on Shield and Spear. Use the other potions against the Heart. Including the new one we get from the White Bee statue. Here we go. We got Turn 1 Ambrosia. I th uh, turn 1 Omniscience, I think, is excellent. Because then I can just... Ambrosia, Omni, Omni, two attack cards. And Obliterate, right? This would do 60 twice. This will do... Also 60 twice. And we'll draw a lot of cards. So I think it's Omni, Omni... Bowling Bash, Wheel Kick. Could also be something like Consecrate, Wheel Kick. But I want the damage focused, and the Bowling Bash is more likely to do that. So yeah, Omni Omni Bowling Bash... Wheel Kick, I believe. Maybe we want a Third Eye first. It's definitely Bowling Bash before Wheel Kick, not Wheel Kick Bowling Bash. Let's third eye first. Okay, that'll get me cut through fate and lesson learn. Those are good. Careful here. So this next. Omni targeting Omni. Targeting Bowling Bash. Targeting Wheel Kick. And that's all she wrote. We even got the rushdown upgraded. The lesson learned of all time. Never even thinking about upgrading itself. Only selflessly upgrading all the other cards in the deck. Therefore, this... Oh yeah. This is it. Going into the heart fight with full health, four really strong potions, and a lot of hopes and dreams. If we win this, the mastery challenge is officially over. Nine and a half months in the making. Here goes Twitch chat. To the heart. No turn one omniscience, but Cut Through Fate could change that. Want to use the potion at the end here. Istra Bellagina, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Might have a lot of support to catch up on momentarily here, huh? Banto Mecha with 13 months. Let's go. So we start with Cut Through Fate. I believe that's the correct first play. Sad to see no omniscience here, but Cut Through Fate could change that. Sir Pack with Prime Sub in 33 months. Spirit Shield is too good to ignore, huh? It is. Although Consecrate will be Dexterity. Dexterity is also good. Lauren Cates with five Tier 2 subs. 
and Skeptic with five tier one subs. Thank you both. One, two, three, four. Steph Soror with five gifted subs as well. This also gets me a shuriken proc. That's pretty good. We have Dark Shackles in the opening hand also. That's quite good. Duck Dad with 352 bits. Okay, now we drink this potion. Don't use this yet. We'll keep all the dexterity, and we block vulnerable. We got the 14 block on this too, that's great. Hmm. All right, so now we want to use weak potion as well, I think. this for the moment. Not quite yet. Okay, here we go. Not the dupe pot I wanted. I was really hoping we could dupe omniscience. We did not get the omnisciences in the early part of the deck, which is spooky, but I can still do this. Duplication potion, double RNX2 potions, double RNX2 cards. But before I actually use any cards, I'm going to see what's in here. Skill potion, flex potion, ancient potion, GG. GG. Oh man, GG. Alright, double talk to the hand. Um, I'm actually supposed to use the flex potion before I do any more attacks, right? I should have done that earlier. Slight mistake. Look at those muscles. Uh, and doubling the next card, double this. All attacks, please. So now we can enter Wrath safely. This is Dark Shackles anyway, right? It is. So I don't even need to Vigilance. We just go Eruption, Bowling Bash, Lesson Learned. I guess I could use Dark Shackles in the future, huh? Don't worry about it. Then drink this. Now at the very end. We keep 5 Dexterity and 10 Strength. All of that. So we have 15 Strength and 8 Dexterity now. Have some vulnerable. Get rid of this. Tempted to kill this potion now. Let's do it. Double panache. Sure. Seems fine. These both leave my hand. Five cards. Okay, we can still double Foresight, amongst other things here. This is good. Omni, Omni, Foresight, Foresight, Prostrate, Prostrate. Looking good. Looking really good. Got a lot of a lot of thank yous to go back and read momentarily. <laughs> 
Too many, I say. Way too many. This will draw cards. There goes the last clumsy. We are clumsy no more. I see 72 th subs of 2,000 bits going off in chat there. You're all way, way too kind. Holy moly. I think this is it, Twitch chat. It's finally over. The end of the mastery challenge. It's been a long time coming. Oh my. Oh my. Do I have divinity here? I totally do. GG. It's all over. No problem. No problem. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.